What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this very annoying error that I've been having for a couple months and I could not figure it out. I couldn't find anything online and I ran some tests that took me about two weeks to figure out what it was. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to fix it. All right, let's get into it. So I'm going to explain what this error means. It is literally for your DLC cards that you guys downloaded and didn't pay for. So we use a custom API to bypass those cars. You guys probably know what I'm talking about or don't even know about it and just have these DLC cars and thinking that they're free. They're not. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to bypass those DLCs and get rid of this error because of the API um, replacement that we use to bypass these DLC cars is the reason why we're getting this annoying um, error okay so first thing you're going to want to do is go into your steam library and right click on a set of Corsa and go to properties once you're here go to installed files and you guys are going to verify integrity of the game files what that's going to do is get rid of that DLC bypass that you guys have all right so hit that let that run all right, so you guys verified all the uh, game files. Next thing you're gonna do is hit browse. So this is your set of course a root folder. Go ahead and close that out, minimize that. So here we are. Go to content, cars. And so this car right here, oh, is it the Aberth 500? This car, I know for a fact, came in content manager when the game had no mods nothing at all it was a free car we could use it there was no issues with it right so try to find this car just to be safe because i know this car came with it i, I didn't want to take the risk of selecting a car and the whole time it was a dlc car right so tap into this and copy the collider file right here copy that over so copy and we're going to paste it onto our desktop so once you guys have that onto your desktop, what we're trying to do is, let's go a step back. All of these cars, whether they're DLC or not, we're going to get this file into every each one of these cars. Now what you can do is go into a car, copy that, and paste it in here, and hit replace file. So once you guys do that, this car is now good to go. Let's say it was a DLC car. It, it's good to go. I'm able to use it on servers. I'm able to use it wherever I want, however I want. All right. Now, obviously, you guys aren't going to do that for all of your cars. I can only imagine how many cars you guys have. I only have about uh, 1,200. All right. So I'm going to teach you guys the fastest way to do this. So what you want to do is go to your Google Chrome. I will leave the link in the description below and download copy Wiz. And here it is. This is copy Wiz. Once you're here, hit download and start downloading. All right. Once you guys go through the setup of copy Wiz, mine's top left over here. You open that up and what you're going to do is add file, select the collider on, on your desktop, open. Go to add, and now we have to locate our Asado Corsa root folder. All right, so mine's is here program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Asado Corsa, content, and cars. Right here, these are all of my cars. Once you are here, hit select folder, go to advanced properties, and destination and click paste a copy to every subfolder under the destination folder and then you just press OK. Once you press OK it's going to start copying uh, that collider folder into every each one of your cars whether they're DLC, traffic cars, whatever they are. It's just safe to have it in every car. I've never had an issue with it. Uh, it worked for me. I literally learned this yesterday it took me forever to figure this out because online had no type of help for me i'm actually going to do it with you guys uh because there's a screen that pops up and i can't remember what it said 
So I'm going to go ahead and press OK and let it do its thing. Hit paste uh, now and once you hit that it should start loading up. Alright so mine's is done. You guys should get a screen that looks like this. Make sure you hit do this for all files and then hit replace. Once you guys are done here make sure you restart your PC. It's just safe to do so you guys might get some weird errors all right so once you restarted your pc go ahead and open up content manager find a server that didn't work for you before and uh try to go into that any issues at all let me know in the comment section below um anytime i figure out any issues like this where there's no help online i literally go and hunt for hours and hours to figure this out and bring it out um to you guys Okay, so for example, let's say, let me actually pick one that didn't work for me before. Um, this one didn't work for me. We were trying to drive different cars on uh, SRP, but we couldn't because I kept getting the air. All right. Um, let's see here. I know the these are DLCs. All the Porsches are DLCs. All right, so I'm going to try to join, see if it works. And you guys can see for yourself that it does work. Again, if you guys have any issues, let me know below. I'll start hunting once again and make sure I get you guys that solution. All right. All right. And there you have it. It is functional. It's working. I have a DLC car. Um, that was pretty cool. You guys can see that I was able to join whatever server this server is definitely one of the ones that i couldn't join before i wanted to test out different cars i'm still having troubles making my own servers so i will learn that eventually once i do i'll find a simpler way and i'll post that up don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if i helped you in any way leave a comment below any issues at all leave a comment below take it easy guys peace